Hey everybody, welcome to Harmonica Jams 8020. I'm very excited that you're here with me and we're going to now start this beautiful journey together on the harmonica and turn you into excellent harmonica players. So the first step, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you just four simple tweaks that you can do to your sound that will take your sound immediately and make your sound much fuller and give your sound a lot more character. That would be a great starting point. So let's begin. When you pick up the harp, before you even start to jam, what you want to do to make it easier to slide around and to play is you want to just slide it around the wet mouth once or twice. And we're good to go. So the first thing we want to be doing is we're going to want to put the harmonica in a relaxed mouth. So release any tension it might be in your lips. So your harmonica shouldn't look like this. But instead let it sink in a little bit into your mouth. But not as far in as touching your teeth. That's the first thing. Now the second thing. Since harmonicas are wind instruments, it means that all the sound, everything about the harmonica is about how you breathe. And if you breathe in a very shallow way, your sound is also going to be very shallow. And you're constantly going to sound like you're about to run out of air. It's not going to be fun. On the other hand, if you always breathe in the deepest way possible, when you got the harmonica in your hand, your sound is going to be big, full, and confident. So what I want you to do is first of all, stand up. Because when you're up on your legs, you got all of your lungs capacity ready to back you up. And what we want to do is we want to practice a little bit of some very deep breathing with the harmonica. So take the harmonica. We're going to start with the lower notes. And then we're going to start moving to the middle notes and then to the upper notes. Lower octave, middle octave, upper octave. And we're going to start by inhaling air, which on the harmonica is going to be called draw. These are the draw notes, the ones that you draw air out of. And then we're also going to be blowing air or exhaling. The blow notes are just the same holes, but when you blow air into them instead of drawing air. So let's start. Place your mouth around the lower notes of the harmonica. Now, when you breathe in really deeply, the area in your body that you're going to feel going up and down is not your chest, but your stomach. So I want you to take your hand, put it on your stomach, and you're going to need to feel your stomach going up and down. Let's move on to the upper notes, middle notes and then upper notes. Remember, when the harmonica is in your hands, you are always breathing deeply, as deeply as possible. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how you're going to take your other hand, create what's called a sound box around the harmonica. And as a result, your sound is going to project and resonate in a beautiful way. I'll be giving you an example now. First of all, how you sound like without a sound box. 
And now where's the sound box? The best example I can give you of how much we need the sound box and how beneficial it can be to our sound is by looking at guitars. The one reason that makes electric guitars, when they are not amplified, sound so dull, as opposed to acoustic guitars, which sound so rich even without the amplifier, is the lack of the sound box in the electric guitar. So that's exactly what we're going to be creating around our harmonica just by using our hands, the sound box. So how exactly can we create the sound box around our harmonica? So first of all, we hold the harmonica like this in our left hand. Left hand right here, right hand, thumb on thumb, just like that. And then you reach from behind and you seal the area that is right here with your sound box. That's how it's going to look like. The last thing I'm going to show you that is going to give your sound a lot more character is Instead of just blowing air or drawing air inside and outside of the harp, what we're going to do, we're going to speak a ta, a t, whatever that is comfortable for you, something with the letter t. And we're going to speak that letter into the harmonica. It's very important, especially when you begin your musical sentences on the first notes. Only times in general when I will not be using the ta syllables is, for example, when I'm jamming along with some really soft music and I don't want to sound too intense. So then I just lightly blow air or draw air. And it will give your notes a softer feeling. But most of the time, stick to the ta. And that's it, just like that, just by practicing these four little things that are also easy to do, your sound is going to become much fuller, much better, much more beautiful. Now what we're going to move on to is the second part of the lesson. And in the second part of each lesson, we will be moving to what's called the jam time, where I will be playing along some music for you and you're going to be jamming with me while I'm reminding you of all the key points we just talked about. And that way we get to learn by doing and you will also get to really ingrain the new material into your mind while having fun and jamming along. Now, since only from the next lesson, we are really going to start getting into jamming and how to actually sound good with music and decorate music with your harmonica and really connect with it, Today it's going to be more of a nice background music for you while you're practicing. So I'm going to see you there in the jam time. And again, very excited that you join me on this wonderful journey on the harmonica. We're going to have a ton of good times together. I'll see you in the jam time. Two, three, four.